In tonight's Rebound Detroit, we want to give you the information you need to make it through virtual fatigue. Due to this pandemic, we are all using video conferencing as a way to stay connected. But are you more exhausted over video chatting all day long? Experts say there are reasons we feel so worn out and you can fix it. It's a new world for all of us. This is what we're doing morning, noon, and night. We're using things like Zoom. Look at this. Okay, all right. I see what we're working with. Teams, house party, FaceTime, all ways to get in touch with family and friends through video chat. It's also how news reporters get interviews daily. Okay, so let, let's switch gears. But experts like psychiatrist Dr. Deborah Hollander of Ascension Providence says all of this virtual interaction is taking a toll. It's not good for the brain to be looking at this computer day in and day out. It really does impact our brain. It can also be emotionally draining. As we're in these video conferences, most of us are trying to multitask. And I don't know about you, but I'm having back to back, one after another. And so if I don't take breaks in between, I'm getting back pain and <laughs> physical pain. And that's calling me my attention away as well. And it's not just the work calls that are affecting us. Even the calls from our loved ones affect us. For instance, we can't reach out and touch someone during this pandemic. And by not touching our loved ones, we're not getting as much oxytocin or the feel-good hormone. For the most part, Many of these things are reversible. So as long as you get a good night's sleep, um, that's something that's reversible for many things. So some of these are temporary. And with the stay home, stay safe orders still in place, many of us are not commuting, which means we're just waking up and jumping in and not leaving much time for ourselves. So what's the solution for us? If you can schedule it and make sure that you have some breaks in between, even if it's a 10 minute break. Also, make sure you get fresh air and exercise. And while we're in the Zoom calls, try your best to focus Focus on one thing at a time. Even though it's really tempting to multitask because we have all these computers and all these screens, we get all this information, um, it, try to unitask. So instead of being a good multitasker, be a good unitasker. And remember, it's okay to say no. I'm hearing about these people who are doing these fun parties and, and they're just like, I'm done. My day is done. So here's the rebound rundown. Stay focused on one task at a time. Take plenty of breaks and exercise. And remember, it's okay to say no. Now, experts also say the blue lights from our screens turn off the sleep hormone, melatonin in your brain, making it more difficult for you to fall asleep. So adjust the settings to a more yellow light. The Rebound Detroit is our commitment to stories that will help you navigate these uncertain times. Email us at rebounddetroit at wxyz.com if you have a story idea. We are in this together. Dave?